Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be trying out this new pH probe for my KH Director. Now, not all of you might know that I've got one of those. You may have seen it sort of just tucked away down in a cupboard. I don't think I've even done a video on it before, but it was a second-hand unit when I first bought it. Um, and the probe, you know, in that was sort of, it was okay, it lasted for a while. Then I decided to buy a new one. So I bought the GHL one, which was about 80 odd pounds in UK money. Um, and now that one's having problems because when I moved, uh, I left the unit off and I forgot about the probe so it probably dried out and got ruined um, so I didn't want to spend another 80 pounds so I purchased this instead this has come from a company called co2 supermarket and it was 23 pounds and 99p so we're gonna put this on today we're gonna to see a does it work and B can it read like the KH um, readings that it uh, that the proper GHL probe obviously used to when it was working so without further ado we're gonna go down and I'll show you the KH director the readings that the last calibration uh, was coming out at which was totally whacked um, and then hopefully when we fitted this we'll calibrate it and hopefully things should be good so let's go right then guys so actually just before we do have a look at that uh, ph probe on the kh director i just thought i'd give you uh, a little quick update on how we're going with the tank obviously after the move everything is still looking really good uh, the only exception is this finger coral it's not quite as happy there as it used to be when I had it, I think, around about the middle over here somewhere. So, although I don't want to put it in the middle now because that Zoa Garden is there, uh, maybe we will move, uh, where is it, this one here um, and put, put it there. So basically, like, just swap them around. Um, but otherwise, as you can see, everything else, sorry about the glare, uh, everything else is... Um, it's doing really well. There's Piney, hey hey, getting big. And on that, you're gonna be getting a new home soon. Na, 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 na. So keep tuned guys, because Piney's new home is a coming. And also this guy here, the orange shoulder tang, he's gonna be going with him. So they're both gonna be going out of this tank and they're gonna be going into a nice big new one. And Piney, for one, is excited. You can definitely tell. Excited? Yes. <laughs> so, yeah, so keep tuned, guys, for that. Um, hopefully, in the next maybe one or two videos, it will be the start of that uh, and, uh, and the build and everything else and the new tank. And, uh, yeah, big, big changes, big plans. Now, where's that purple tang? There he is. You can see the purple tang and the yellow wrasse, as I think I forgot about him last time. And then there's the uh, Bengay Cardinal. Right, that's enough of that. Let's, uh, let's head over to the KH Director. Right, so here is my KH Director. As you can see, I've got the lid off at the moment, uh, just because I was interested in seeing how it kind of all worked, really. Um, so I whipped the lid off uh, a little while back. It's been sat there ever since uh, like that. There is the pH probe going into the side, so we're going to need to remove that in a minute and unplug it from the back. Before we do that, we will see turn the, uh, the whole unit off. Um, down here we've got the KH Director Reagent, uh, I've got the empty bottle which is where the, uh, the two tubes kind of like dump uh, the sample and, and the water and everything into afterwards. I've got a little probe holder and somewhere there we go I've also got the pH calibration 4 and the pH 7 as well. So that's all ready and a couple of tools down there to be able to take the pH probe off and put the new one on. But before I do that, I just wanted to show you what was going on with the last calibration. And I did this multiple times. So here you're going to see this actual value pH probe. I mean, look at that, minus 2147. I have absolutely no idea what was going on with that, but that was definitely wrong. And also these two values here, look. This one, pH 4, 30, 266. 
and then at pH 7, 30, 268. Again, that is not right. Before when my uh, original one was working, the, the GHL probe that I purchased and calibrated, this I think was like 20 something or other, and this one was like 50, 54, maybe 57. Uh, so a definite difference. So as I said, what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn it off, so let's shut it down up there. So that's gone and unplug it like so so that's all unplugged and we're going to come down now and i'm going to actually swap you onto a different camera on the tripod and then we're going to remove this and start the calibration of the new one so let's uh, turn this round so we can kind of see what's going on with it and we're going to pull that out of there because we've already unplugged it uh, let's remove the GHL probe take that out there we go and GHL KHD PH electrode so if we get the new one out the box Have a little look at this. And there's the actual focus. There you go. There's the actual pH probe itself. So it has got some, if you can see that, has got some liquid in there. Um, and then we have got the connector as well. Basically, it looks exactly the same. Let's pop this back in here. That's that on, plug that back in. Okay, next step. Right then, so we're gonna go ahead and plug it back in again. There we go. And fire it up. Right then, so we're gonna go ahead and uh, calibrate the probe. So we're just gonna click over here. As you can see at the moment, these values, they're all they're all wrong. They're all messed and up. Hopefully you can see so on the screen. Click You've calibrate got an ADC value. Yes, start. Yes. And when that settles it is out in the pH four already. We will take so it out of the four. Okay. We'll put it into the now those values that. are different, so I don't know if that's so good or bad, but we're gonna find out. Alright, so that's done. Wants us to dip it into fluid pH 7. So I'm going to so take, it take it out, out of the 4. Of the four. And we're just going to just off. dip it into the RO water. water, bring it out, like shake so. it off a little bit, and, and then, then pop it into, into the seven. 7. And then press OK. And we're going to see what this one does. Or how long mm. it takes, I should say. Here we go again. All right, so that's finished. So we save the calibration. So yes, please. Now they have now changed. So we've got uh, 39783 and 32410. Uh, this is bang on, look at that, seven. So that's, okay, well, let's give it a go. Let's uh, take it out of the pH seven and put it back into the KH director and we'll go for a test. Okay, actually, so just before I put it back into the KH director, because the seven was reading bang on seven, I thought I'd just put it into the uh, pH four tester solution, um, as you can see down here. Yeah, where is it? There it is, in the four. And the reading over here is 4.3. So I suppose that's pretty good. It's not bad. The other one was bang on seven. Uh, 4.3, maybe if I leave this in here a little bit longer, maybe it will drop. Uh, it's been in there about five minutes already. So uh, yeah, we'll go with this anyway, and we'll get it in the uh, back in the cage director, and we'll go for a test. All right then, so let's start the measurement now. Okay, measuring. Oh, fingers crossed, I hope this works. 23 or 24 pound pH probe as opposed to as good as 80 pounds the last time I bought one. So if I can save myself 50 
odd quid. That's a bargain. What I'll do is I'll come back to you once this is done. All right, so it's just finished filling up with water. So pump one has ended. It's now kind of mixing it up, I guess sending some air in. And pump two has now begun, which is adding the reagent in whilst it mixes it all together. And so far, look, paper towel is dry. So that's a result. Best time for everything. So we'll leave it mixing and we'll come back to it. All right then guys, so it's just finished. You can probably hear the the, uh, the cage director draining the water out because that, uh, that particular uh, dosing head is a little bit squeaky, but look, 6.4. Now that's obviously, hopefully not right. Um, when it was originally working before I did have it on this uh, plus value of 20%. Um, but basically what I need to do now is um, do a HANA checker, test it with the HANA checker, see what reading I get, and then I can adjust this to hopefully match that to the HANA checker. So let's go do that, grab the HANA checker, and we'll run through a, uh, a tester. Right and guys, so we've got the HANA checker and we will set it all up. Start taking a sample. Okay, there we go. Put the lid on. Gonna give it a bit of a clean. Turn the hammer checker on. Open it up. And I like to always put it down so that 10 mil is facing out towards you. Basically like that. Close up the lid. Press the button, wait for it to say add C2. So we'll put that down for a second. Gonna get the alkalinity reagent. Pop this in. So there is our reagent in there. Just so I don't get fingerprints on here, I always use my microfiber cloth. Put all that into there. Make sure it all goes in. There we are. Close up the cap. And then we just turn it sort of over, backwards and forwards, half a dozen times. I've lost count. Hopefully you guys were counting there. Again, make sure there's no fingerprint marks on there, pop it back in so that 10 mil is facing again towards us, drop it down, close it, press the button and what's it saying? 8.7. So 8.7 on this which I will uh, trust. So we need to do another test on the KH director and change that 20 percentage so that it brings up that 6.4 to nearer this 8.7 mark. Well guys, I guess we'll put that up to uh, being a success, even though obviously adjusting the KH director there to the plus 30% uh, still only took it to 6.7. <laughs> but the HANA checker was 8.7, so I guess if that's 6.7, then all I need to do is just add two DKH onto it. Um, yeah. So there's probably still a little bit of playing around to do, maybe another recalibration, uh, that sort of stuff. Uh, and if I can get it obviously to be exactly the same as the HANA checker, then that would be fantastic. But for now, it's definitely working. That 23 pounds, 24 pounds, pH probe from CO2 supermarket. It's definitely worked. Um, I just have to do some fine tuning, I guess, with the actual GHL uh, KH director 
unit um, itself uh, to try and get that uh, kind of reading uh, more more to what the Hannah Checker is saying. But for now, I'll take it as a win. 6.7, I just need to add on 2 DKH every time it does a reading, and then I know it's going to be the same as the Hannah Checker. Don't forget, guys, to uh, keep in touch with regards to Piney's new home. That will be happening very soon. Can't wait. It's going to be a pretty big project. I don't know if any if anybody's kind of got any thoughts or ideas as to exactly what's going to be happening, but he is getting another tank or a bigger tank, I should say, to what I've got now, and it won't be in the house. Um, so that might tell some of you what I'm going to be doing, but stay tuned for that big project coming up over multiple weeks of getting it all set up and then finally getting his tank and, uh, and then, well, getting him in along with, as I mentioned before, wherever he is, the orange shoulder tank down there. So they're both out. The clownfish and the blue and green chromis will be moving upstairs um, as soon as that happens as well and then we're open then to a whole new more fish buying and ones for this one fish uh, new fish for the uh, for the other tank as well that uh, the piney will be in so can't wait for that really looking forward to it don't forget guys if you've liked this video give us a thumbs up and also if you haven't already subscribed to the channel for those of you that have subscribed I thank you very much and that does really help me and we are on the way up to a thousand subscribers we're about 982 I think at the moment so um, yeah I'm really excited about that can't wait to get to a thousand uh, it's been a long time coming but you know there it is it's uh, it's just one of those things isn't it so that's pretty much it for me today, so thanks very much for watching, and I will see you on the next video. Bye for now. Easy come, easy go.